Look, if you're a streamer who does subathons and you're not thinking about the economics of subathons as it relates to local pricing, you're in for a wake up call because the economics of subathons are completely destroyed. I think we're gonna make this into a YouTube video. Because I think it's an interesting topic. And I don't think enough people are thinking about it right now. And I do believe that there is a potential for it to uh, harm people. Everybody is familiar with a subathon, right? 10 subs, uh, you get Twitch spawns. 25 subs, you get Chug a G Fuel. This is also another common thing for subathons is you go, hey, you give a sub, you get a certain amount of additional minutes for the subathon to continue. So in this case, it's three minutes. 25 subs, Gartic Phone. Uh, 50 subs, Play Professional pl uh, Phasmophobia. 175 subs, $25 in game currency giveaway. Tomorrow, here's a lost pause. Every 50 subs, a $50 summon giveaway. So, here is something that I think uh, people need to think about, streamers need to think about, is that with the introduction of local pricing, subathons are no longer a reliable source of income in the sense that they don't provide you a very clear answer to how much money you're going to make and how much money you're going to uh, make per sub. Now, again, it's, it's going to be a weird balancing here because I, I, I do want to kind of uh, uh, first say that what you don't want to have happen on Twitch is for people to have a sentiment of, well, an American sub is worth this and a Brazilian sub is worth this. Because a American sub is $4.99 and a Brazilian sub is $1.49. That's going to be an interesting thing that, that I don't necessarily know how to, uh, you know, as, as a general thing. You don't want to shame somebody for where they're, from what country they sub from because you want to be appreciative of a sub. But as it relates to a subathon, the economics of it do matter. Um, and so I, I, just as a, a quick example here, I think this one is probably the best example. 50 subs... Works out to $250 uh, uh, in total cost. After Twitch takes their cut, you get $125. So that, 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 that's the plan here. All right? However, now let's throw in... Let's say for some reason he has a remarkably large Brazilian audience. All right? Let's... We're just going for the sake of, uh, uh, of the argument here. This is an extreme example. It's not going to ha be how it generally plays out. 50 subs at $1.50 is, what is that? 50, $75, right? $75. After Twitch is cut, because they still take 50%, you're walking away with $37.50. Now, all of a sudden, your $50 summon giveaway where you earned thirty-seven fifty for it, not making a lot of sense. That's a big loss. You're losing twelve fifty do, doing that subathon plus whatever time that you're adding for streaming three minutes, five minutes, whatever. There's tends to be three reasons why people do subathons. One is they want to unlock a sub emote. Okay. Two is they ha they want to uh, uh, increase their revenue. Perhaps they experience a revenue drop or a subscriber drop, whatever. You want to increase your revenue. Three, you have an emergency expense that came up that you didn't expect and you want to cover the cost of it. So if you're like, hey, I want to make $500. Let's do a subathon this weekend. Hopefully we can raise some money towards that. Unfortunately, with local pricing, it, 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 you can no longer reliably know for sure that you're going to hit that goal. It might be less. It might be the same. You, but you don't know for sure. You you may, as a streamer, have 97% of your audience being in North America. Maybe they're all in Canada. Maybe they're all in the United States. And that, that's probably true for a lot of people. However, what we do know now is that rather than having a bullseye, rather than having... That's a terrible circle. Let me try that one again. 
rather than having a a dartboard with a bullseye, that whenever you threw a dart, whenever a dart was thrown at you, I'm gonna do a little dart here. This is this is a dart. <laughs> kind of looks like a vaccine dart or something. Uh, but whenever a dart is thrown, traditionally up until now, you always hit the bullseye. You always hit two dollars and forty nine cents every single time. Boom, 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 boom. Throw the dart. Boom. Bullseye every single time without fail. As a, an American, as a, as a Canadian, as etc. Now you're dealing with a moving target, a target that that moves back and forth ever so slightly, ever so slightly. So when you throw that same dart, you might you're probably hitting the bullseye because you're still good. You're probably going to still hit the bullseye a bunch, but Occasionally, you're going to go outside of it. Occasionally, you're going to hit some places outside of the, uh, the bullseye, which means that you can no longer reliably predict how much income you are going to make. Will it be two forty nine dollars per sub? Will it be 0 0.75 per sub? Will it be two fifteen dollars per sub? Will it be uh, one seventy nine dollars per sub? There is going to be a level of... Of, a, of, of, of difference on each sub. As a streamer, you can say, okay, well, I'm going to adjust by that by increasing the amount by 10% because that'll kind of create a little bit of a pillow. But then maybe somebody comes into your stream and they're from Turkey and they gift you 100 subs and now you have to stream for eight hours and you, you then check your payout and it's like, oh shit. I mean, that's great, fantastic. Again, we're not trying to not trying to put the onus on the people who are subscribing because that's fantastic that they are. But in terms of the overall eco economics of the uh, uh, of being a streamer and the business of being a streamer, you have to pay your bills, and so this can change things, and it's something that people need to consider. So, I would contend that as a streamer, you should no longer be trying as a streamer who has not had your uh, local pricing of subs changed or the majority of your audience of pricing changed, I would contend that you no longer should be doing subathons. I would contend that streamers should look at bits and they should look at direct tips to 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 uh, dictate their future subathons. So instead of saying, hey, we're doing a subathon here, guys, where it's going to be out of 150 subs... 150 subs is the goal that we're going to hit in, uh, because you had the premise of making $2.50 per sub. Instead, guys, we're going to do our subathon and it's going to be set at $1,000. Or, or uh, our subathon goal is every 1,000 bits. These are bits. 1,000 bits. That's going to be the new subathon goals. And every 1,000 bits, we add five minutes to the timer. Why? Because unlike subs, which are now unpredictable, a moving target, these remain constant. $1 is $1. 100 bits is $1. You know reliably how much money you are going to make from every single dollar that you are given. A dollar. You do not have that same reliability for subs, where it could be 75 cents, and it could be two dollars and forty nine cents. Um, so if if you're thinking about uh, streaming as a business, it's something to consider, and uh, you may want to uh, start working on that sooner than later. Because uh, as I said in the in uh, the maybe it was last segment, uh, subscribing, spending money is a learned behavior. So I don't imagine there's going to be a, a massive influx of of subscriptions. Uh, and spending from countries that uh, have had a dramatic drop in price for subs, but potentially in a year, potentially in two years, potentially and especially in three years when I think it'll be much more normal for uh, a lot of countries around the world to subscribe, to consider that when you are doing subathons. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click like, click subscribe up there, and then watch this video. What else you gotta do? You're on YouTube anyways, you might as well watch something else. It's right there.